On September 1st, the Quebec government will be putting in place a vaccine certification program. Citizens in that province will have a QR code on an app on their phone and they'll need it to get into any non-essential businesses like stores, bars, restaurants, perhaps even a hockey game or soccer game. Though here in Ontario, the provincial government remains adamant they will not be putting a system in place. So today we reached out and spoke to multiple members of the science advisory and COVID modeling tables for their thoughts. Having these vaccine certificates might be one way to help avoid a lockdown. Um, so I, I don't think it takes a genius to, you know, I don't think it takes a whole lot of modeling and, you know, experts to figure that out. Premier Doug Ford has been pouring cold water on the potential public health measure for weeks now. I've never believed in, in proof. Everyone gets their, their proof when they get the vaccination. You're right. Anything can be fraudulent. Right down from money to uh, certifications. I, I just, no, we aren't doing it. Sim simple as that. City News spoke with three members of Ontario's science advisory group and a scientist on the COVID modeling table. Each were asked if they thought a vaccine certificate program would be a beneficial public health step. I think it would go a long way to ensuring that we can keep things open. Uh, there's no question that fully vaccinated people pose less of a risk. In my view, it's a good public health measure. No one wants another year and a half of what we've just gone through. And vaccine certificates are an important part of that solution. I think it's a win-win for everybody, for businesses, uh, for customers, for staff. So I think the whole, the bottom line is just to try to keep as many people safe as possible. The problem with vaccine certificates is you can't pull them off overnight. You need to have time to address all the specific issues, including, you know, being falsification proof, addressing privacy, addressing equity, accessibility. This needs a little bit of time. With cases on the rise and doctors believing that the clock is ticking, Ontario's Medical Officer of Health and the Minister of Health had this to say on the topic this week. I think it's a government decision not to have mandatory immunization policies. That is uh, we, up to the businesses to determine whether they want to see proof of vaccination. You shouldn't have one restaurant coming up with a policy, a gym coming up with a different policy, and an airline coming up with a third policy. You're an infectious disease specialist. You're also on the advisory table for the province of Ontario. Is it frustrating to see that the government hasn't acted on this? I think my main concern is that even at the first mention of it, the government just said they're not going to do it. And that that's really not a reasoned response. You need to look at the pros and cons. Mayor John Tory's office telling City News that the city of Toronto wants to see a vaccine certificate program in place for non-essential businesses, though they don't want it to be done on a municipal level. They want the province to roll out the plan. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.